In this video, I will show you how to automatically add your V card to your email as they go out or as you reply to emails. Um, there's a couple notes to how Outlook handles this and we'll show you what that does as we go through it. Um, to begin with, you need to make sure that your business card is set up to be sent to recipients. If you have your personal card in Outlook and are comfortable with sending all of the data in that card, that's great. But be aware if you don't want to send out your cell phone, for example, to every one of your email recipients, you need to make sure that you have a separate contact card that is set up as your Outlook business card. And so what you'll do, generally Outlook will have, by default, the contacts set to this people view. You need to change that to the business card view to get this set up. So you'll be under the people tab and looking at your contact. And if you double click on that, you should see a form that looks similar to this. Make sure that the information that you have here is that information you want to share with anyone receiving the email from you. Again, a big portion of this is checking to see if you really want your cell phone to be given to everybody or not. It's really up to you. What you'll do is under the options section of the ribbon, you can see where it says business card. We're going to click on that. And this gives us the options to edit the business card. The business card by default has a left aligned image. You can change that and add your logo or a picture or whatever you would like to do. Chances are you may have that. And this one is fit to the edge, so it filled it up and it's a 16% area. You can change that up or down to see a little bit more of the image or how you want that to work. Over here on the left hand side, you can adjust which fields show up. For example, full, full name is here with testing a contact. The company name is just a test. You can edit those here if you want and make those changes. You can also move these up or down. So if you wanted your email to be first, you could do that. If you wanted to remove your business phone, you could tap on that or click on that and click remove and just leave your email. At any rate, that's all the editing options that you can do on the fields. Over here, if you wanted to add labels, you can do that adjust the font sizes and colors and alignment as well. If you press OK, you'll now see a preview of what that card will look like here. And again, if you wanted to add a picture, you could do that as well. Press Save and Close, and now we're going to click File, Options, and Mail under the Outlook Options. We're going to go over here to Signatures. And if you don't have any email signatures, you'll need to create one, or you could choose one that's your default already and edit that if you'd like. Click New. I'm going to call it B Card. Click OK. Over here, you can choose whether you want that to show up every time on a new message or on a reply and a forward as appropriate. And then put in the text of what you want your signature to say. I would put the text in. If you have any disclaimers, you can put that in. Other text that you want. And then we want to actually add that contact record as a business card. So we'll click on business card. Choose the Outlook database that you want to show up. We can see that our contact is here. This is what it, we want it to look like. And now Outlook will add that into the signature along with our other text that we've put in there. Click OK. OK. Let's click a new email message and see what that looks like. You can see that Outlook put in all of our text and a picture of the business card and attached the V card to the email automatically. If you want to get rid of this image, it's possible to do so, but it's a little more involved and requires editing the registry. And so I generally just leave it in there and make sure that any text that I want to show up is here as well. It's always good to have text for important pieces of information about your signature in case there are email programs that don't render this image appropriately. The recipient will still have access to your phone number and those types of information.